Hello and welcome to another The Geo Team video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a force field. Now force fields are uh, can be a variety of shapes and they can they are, are quite useful for stopping mobs and um other people on a multiplayer server from getting um from getting in. So um uh force fields actually cannot be broken so uh, no one will be able to get through once the force field um, is up. Um, so let's get started. So um, today I'm also going to be showing you um, how to use um, a certain thing, uh, which we w you will need to make the force field called electrolyzers. So let's just give us one of them, and then um, let's just put it down. Now, you might think that an electrolyzer is any normal machine, but um, it's, got, um, it's got a big difference. But before we go into that, I'd just like to show you what it does. When you get a water cell, which you, use, uh, which you make by getting a, a, a water bucket and combining it with an empty cell made of tin, um, it, if you put it in there, it converts it. Oops, sorry. That is what... Um, we will get and that is a water cell so an electrolyzer basically turns that into that it makes it electrolyzed so if we just go ahead and put this in here now obviously like any other machine we have to power it however you have to power it a little bit differently you see you can't use cables to connect an electrolyzer to an MFSU you actually have to put the MFSU directly next to it otherwise it won't work so let's just get our our power set up um, let me just fill in that hole okay so I'm just going to make an MFSU and I have to place it directly next to the electrolyzer and um, by doing this whoops uh, if we just set it to daytime uh, by doing this right next to each other, then it lets the electrolyzer use that power. Now, you might be thinking that um, this special side here to the machine, you might be thinking that uh, we have to use a wrench to move it. But actually, we don't. It can um, An electrolyzer can be on any of the input faces, these white ones on here, but it may ch uh, vary based on your texture pack. So... Um, yeah, this this um, special port doesn't have to be facing the electrolyzer. It's fine as it is. So let's just um, go and get our. Let's just go and get um, some energy. So I'm just going to quickly get some high voltage solar panels to give our MFSU some energy. So I'm just going to place a few down. Uh, you'll, uh, I'm not going to show you how to make sol solar panels since that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. Um, I'm just going to hook it up as I normally would to an MFSU using a glass fibre cable or um, you can also use things like copper cables as well. And we can just attach it like that. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and we can attach it into the input face of our MFSU. Okay, and now it appears to be going dark. So let's just set it to noon. And then we should be getting some power into here. As you can see, since we have got so many high voltage solar panels, then um, it will go up pretty fast. But yeah. So um, what will happen is, even though there's energy in here right now, the electrolyzer actually won't start. This is because that the electrolyzer requires that at least 75% of the MFSU, or bat box or whatever, is full. So if we just wait for it to be 75% full, about, yep, about there. Then we see that uh, the electrolyzer has started here. So you can see that it's converting the water cells into electroly uh, <coughs> sorry, electrolyzed water cells. 
And so, um, the reason I actually showed you this is because that when you're in survival, you actually need electrolyzed water cells to construct the tools we will need to make the force field. So once this is done, you'll see that we now have an electrolyzed water cell. Um, I'm not going. I'm not going to wait for the rest. I'm just, um, we're just going to get, get right in into the force fields. So here's how we, here's how we do it. Um, we we'll, to make a basic force field in like a dome or something. We need three essential components. Firstly, we need the force field core. So that we will also be needing a force field projector. Now it's not actually uh, these projectors, you see you can get directional, you can get tube, but uh, we will actually want an area one, so if we just type in here area You'll see an MFF oh sorry an MFFS area projector. So if we just get one of them, I'm also going to show you how to craft it. So you'll make it with diamond, you'll make it with a frequency transmitter, that electrolyzed water cell that we just made, and an electric circuit. We'll also need to be um, um, making something to actually retrieve the power. So, we're going to get a force field EU injector, and that will basically convert, um, input, well, take the energy from this MFSU into our force field system. So, first things first, I'm going to place down the EU injector. Oh, God, slide. Ah! Right, now that that slime's gone away, hopefully. Um, yeah, so we're just going to simply place our EU injector. There's no interface here, nothing to set. You just place it down and you literally just hook it up um, to the MFSU, easy. There, once you've done that, we're going to put the force field cover on top of there. So these two need to be attached, so then this, uh, so the force field core can get the energy that is injected from here. So, now that we've done that, this one does have an interface when we right click on it and you'll see that we have all of these options here. And actually I've made a quick mistake here, this is the projector so we need we need the core there and then you see that we have um, a various options, we don't actually need to use any of these yet but we will soon so, and lastly, at the top, or anywhere that anywhere that has the frequency card, which I'm going to show you now, um, is the actual projector itself, which will actually project the force field. So, what we're going to do is, um, to actually tell the core that that is the projector that we need to project to, we, ne we need to use a blank... MFFS card. So if we just get one of them, sorry, and we literally just right click on the core, just put that in, and you'll see that it's turned a different texture. And if we just take it out, we then put that into the uh, area projector. And we've now told it, as you can see here, this has just changed, it is now linked to a generator, which is this. So now, what we actually do is, if we just get a lever, then we can actually turn the force field on. Now, if we just look here, you'll see that you also have um, the ability to change the modes to things like a sphere and, and things like that. You can also make it bigger as well, like that. And now, if we just uh, put a lever on it, flick it, you'll see, oh, sorry you'll see that we now have a working force field surrounding us. So if we now look, if we now go um, 
if we now um, just quickly go on survival, you'll see that these are actually impossible to break, so you can't actually get through them. If we also try and dig down and through here and try to go underneath it, then the force field will also block that, as you can see. So we can't get past there. And yeah, uh, that's how you make a very simple force field. So, um, ba so to summarise, just an MF energy um, from an MFSU going into an EU injector, which is attached to a core, and then a projector with the same frequency card in that's hooked up to that on the same frequency to there. And that's how we make a simple force field on Tekkit. So thank you very much for watching. Please join again um, next time uh, where we'll be looking at some more um, ticket things. If you like this video, please subscribe to the Jir team. And also there's that lovely like button down there that you, you, you know might want to click on, maybe. So thank you very much for watching and join again next time.